we're rolling out something that we call Watch Party, uh, which lets you watch video and chat with your friends. So, you know, let's say that your friend is testifying in Congress. For example. Now you're going to be able to bring your friends together, and you can laugh together, and you can cry together. Some of my friends actually did this. <laughs> Let's not do that again anytime soon. Today, uh, we are announcing a new set of features coming soon around dating. <laughs> now, this is going to be this is going to be for building real long-term relationships, all right? Not just hookups. <laughs> it's going to be in the Facebook app, but it's totally optional. It's opt-in. If you want, you can make a dating profile. And you know, I know a lot of you are going to have questions about this, so I want to be clear that we have designed this with privacy and safety in mind from the beginning. Your friends aren't going to see your profile. You're only going to be suggested people who are not your friends who have opted into dating, who fit your preferences, although I can't promise that you're going to get email. It's a tough world. Now let's talk about Instagram. So we're launching a completely new design for Explore that is going to organize the content around topic channels now. So now your Explore is going to be even more focused on the things you're interested in. We're also focused on new ways that people are going to be able to use Instagram to communicate and build stronger relationships. So today, to make this easier, uh, we're announcing video chat and Instagram. You're going to be able to just tap on a new camera icon right in the, the top of any direct thread that you have. And you're going to be able to video chat one-on-one -on -one or with groups. You're going to be able to minimize the video while you're you know, chatting and using Instagram. And you know, I think that this is going to be a really big deal, and people are, are really going to like this. And last year at F8, uh, we announced the AR camera effects platform. And today, uh, we are bringing it to Instagram. <laughs> so now, anyone is going to be able to build face filters and effects. And when you go to your camera, you're going to be able to see effects that are relevant to you and from the accounts that you follow. And if you're browsing stories and uh, you see a cool effect, you'll always be able to try it on. So we're, we're excited to, to get this in, in people's hands soon. Now let's talk about WhatsApp. So here, our focus is on building new ways for people to connect privately uh, with close friends and, and, and groups and businesses. The next phase for WhatsApp, beyond uh, just communicating with your friends and family, is going to be helping people connect with businesses as well. And you know, today, you know, a lot of people don't want to call businesses, or you just want to be able to text. That's a, a really big shift in how we all communicate. and. Um, and I think that's just going to be a really big deal here. So earlier this year, you know, we launched WhatsApp Business to let small businesses create a presence on WhatsApp and give them some tools for messaging. And already in just a few short months, uh, more than 3 million people are already using WhatsApp Business. And it's growing really quickly. So now the next step is going to be giving large businesses uh, tools to be on WhatsApp too. And we're working on this now. For Messenger. Uh, we are focused on building richer ways uh, for people to connect privately with their friends and, and family and businesses, too. I, I mentioned earlier uh, that we are bringing the AR camera effects platform to Instagram. And we're, we're also bringing this to the Messenger platform as well. Um, it's going to be a really fun way uh, for people to use augmented reality uh, to connect with their family and friends privately and in real time.